Right, it's a special edition because it's Valentine's Day. We're going to have a very special edition of Blind Day. We did it about a year ago, it went well. So now each, who have we got? We've got Kieran, we've got Colin, and we've got Jamie. Big round Make some noise! Come on, put your mask on, put your mask on. That's it. Right. You sit out there. Excellent, one for you. Excellent, one for you. There you go. One for you. Sit down, sit down. Lovely, excellent. Uh, lovely, lovely. Right, introduce yourself, contestant number one. With the microphone, mate. Well done, you spanner. What, what? My name's Kieran. Yep. 24 years old. With the microphone, Kieran. What do you do for a living, Kieran? I'm a collections officer for... Wait, you're a collections officer, you're a bailiff. Anyway. Ooh. Half of these people here, you've probably been to their houses, haven't you? Let's be honest. How long have you been doing that? Six years. I'll hold the mic because it's difficult for you to hold it up and talk. I can do two things at once. And where are you from? Cholton. And are you single? How long have you been single? Um, about five months. Five months, that surprises me. Um, <laughs> and what kind of woman are you looking for? An older one. Hey, you're going to get your boots filled tonight. <laughs> Contest number two, what's your name? Colin. Where are you from, Colin? Lemonsu. Lemonsu. Oh, what a place! Mate, that's a great island, have not it? Oh. Well done, well done. Where the hell have we got you from? <laughs> right. <coughs> Here we go. Here we go. What's your name? Um, Deborah Walker. Deborah Walker, that's very posh. Very, very, very posh. What do you do for a living, Debs? Uh, nursery nurse. Oh, nursery nurse! Nursery nurse! Oh, a nursery nurse, sorry. I'm not annoyed here, no. And um, how long have you been single, Debs? 12 years. 12 years, and what kind of blog do you go for? City. Has, has to be a city fan. Yeah, well, that helps, Debs, because we're in City Square, love. Maybe a doctor. Maybe a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be honest with you, love, if you get him, I'll be well surprised. You've probably got more chance than number one or two, if I'm really honest. But anyway, listen, right. So, thank you there. Fellas, she's going to ask you a question. Think of a nice, good answer. I do she gets the doctor. <laughs> right, here we go. You like older women, don't you? Yeah. It's Christmas day for you, mate. <laughs> right, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right, God, your hands are cold, aren't you? Freezing. Oh, not long now. Right. Warm heart, then. All right, love. I've had a look at the script. You've only got a little part in this. <laughs> right, here we go. First question, go on. Um, where would you take me on our first date? Oh, where would you take me on our first date? Let's go to number three, the doctor. Where would you take her on her first date, doc? To the bedroom. <laughs> Bet you wouldn't. <laughs> right. <laughs> number two, where would you take it? Try and keep it clean. To a city game. Well, you've really, well, okay, well, you've really thought about that. <laughs> right. No, 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 mate, you've got to use the microphone. It's all right, it's not your fault, it's our fault for picking you. <laughs> Where would you take her? Make it exciting. Where would you take her on your first day? Capital One Cup Final game. The Capital One Cup Final. God, I can't understand why you're single. Right. <laughs> Face that way, you cheat. Right, here we go. Second, what do you think of those answers? Um. Bit iffy, really. They were. I'm already going to the capital. One cup fine. Oh, yeah. All right. Div. Right, here we go. Second question, here we go. If you were a dog, what kind of dog would you be? Trust me, these three would be put down. <laughs> right, if you were a dog, what kind of dog would you be? Contestant number one, here we go. Think about the answer. If you were a dog, what kind of dog would you be? A German Shepherd. And why would you be a German Shepherd? Because I can be naughty and nice. <laughs> See, that's, that was miles better than the first one you give. Well done. Right, here we go. If you were a dog, what kind of dog would you be? Island Westy. Why? So I can roll over and she can tickle me tummy. <laughs> oh, mate, that is a great one. That is superb. Well done. There we go. If you are a dog, what kind of dog would you be, Jamie? Uh, a Rottweiler. Why would he be a Rottweiler? <laughs> I like to bite. Jesus, she's a... What did you think of them? Well... Can you hear? Yeah. 
Did the last one say likes to bite? Oh, he loves to bite. Too painful. You're not into that? No. Right, one and two, you got a chance. Here we go, your third and final question. Think about the answers, fellas. Third and final question, here we go. Big question. I like to play Scrabble. What word would you use to excite me? I, oh, <laughs> you like to play Scrabble. What word would you use to excite you? Alive. <laughs> right, here we go. Contestant number one. She likes to play Scrabble. That's a, a game that you can play with words. Don't worry about that. But listen, what word would you use to excite her? I tell you what, we'll come back to you after full time. <laughs> Doctor, what word would you use to excite her? <laughs> Keep it clean. It's not really one word. What's the two then? It's three. What is it? CPR. CPR! <laughs> Any, just have a little thank you, you'll be alright. <laughs> CPR, what would you use? Bedroom. <laughs> well. You take the boy out of love gym, you certainly can't take love gym out of the boy, can you? <laughs> right, here we go. What would, word would you use to excite you? Romance. <laughs> Slow's another one I'd use. <laughs> Brain dead. The options are there. Right, here we go. So we've had romance, bedroom, CPR. Which one did you like out of that? Romance, bedroom, CPR, bedroom. Yeah. There we go. We've had three questions, we've got three contestants. One is a doctor, he'd like to give you CPR, all right? The other one said bedroom, he's got a fancy job. 